he believed in the dignity of work and he fought his last breath was fought defending the garbage men in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Sanitation workers didn't have a union, they were trying to get a union, and Martin joined the campaign uh, to try to put national attention on it and put pressure on the mayor of Memphis to recognize the union, and he was assassinated during that drive. Dignity, fair pay, the right to unionize, all of that was part of his mission. During the 60s, I was one of the freedom marchers, and I'm just trying to keep the dream alive, and I think at this point in time in America, the jobs and the economic situation, that all the people that are really feeling it should be a part of this movement that's sweeping America. It's wonderful to see labor and civil rights groups and people from throughout the country come together to celebrate what's been accomplished and to look forward to what we need to achieve in the future. traveled from far and wide to come here to say that Martin Luther King, Dr. King's dream is alive, but it has not been fulfilled yet, and we're going to make sure that happens. Are we not? Are we going to stand together once and for all, I mean once and for all, and say enough is enough. Enough is enough. This country needs to be great, and we're going to make it so. Dr. King reminded us that we must stand up social justice, for educational opportunity, yeah. and for economic opportunity. And he called on us to end inequity and the divisive politics you see in Washington, D.C. right now. Our country is in the grip of a social, educational, and economic emergency. People in Washington want to paint us as radicals. Well, is it radical to want people to work? Is it radical to want teachers to remain in classrooms where their students need them and not on the unemployment lines? If none of that is radical, then why is the Congress not passing the President's Jobs Bill? Will we fight for that jobs bill? Will we march for that jobs bill? Are you ready? Is enough enough? We come to take our country back to the people. Single mothers can't take care of their families. Why you send us to schools that don't have enough money to give us the teachers that can teach us. Then you want to demonize teachers and act like teachers that try to help our children. Some that have to go to school with no breakfast in their bellies. You want to cut the teachers. You want to cut the firemen. You want to cut the policemen. You want to cut the municipal workers while you take care of your tycoons. We are telling you, look at the mall today. We just getting started. We get ready to organize. UFT is one of the strongest unions in the country. They've done a lot for the rank and file. I know it's helped me and it's helped a lot of teachers. It's given them hope. Union people are community people, and if they get the mindset, we can do it. So it's very, very important to have them come in, stand in with us, and say, let's do this, America. What do we want? Justice! What do we want?